Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. So today we're going to be doing another eyeshadow palette review. I know you're probably like, Jesus, how many eyeshadow palettes did you get recently? Um, just a few, you know, the ones that I've been wanting to try out um, and whatnot for a while. And I kind of waited before I got them. So today's, um, the, I guess the star of the show for today is going to be the colored rain queen of hearts palette now this palette oh i had it upside down huh it's this palette here this palette took the world by storm when it came out everybody and their mother got their hands on this of course i did not it was sold out for months um before they restocked it and i had to pre-order mine with the restock in order to even get it i have had it for like a couple of weeks now and i haven't had the time to film with it so today i'm going to give you guys my overall first impressions with this beautiful palette here i'm going to open it up for you guys super nice sleek packaging and it just has all of these super nice warm berry tones in here i absolutely love it and funny enough I actually think that if you own this, that you don't really need to get that new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I mean, I'm sorry. I think that um, this just has more concise colors and it just looks cute um, and I like it. And this one's kind of cheaper. This palette does retail for $50 um, and you get 12 shades all around. Um, this palette, I believe, is cruelty free but there's one shade that isn't vegan so all of them are vegan except for this purple shade here called lady ship so for today's look i honestly don't even know what i'm going to create i'm just going to jump right into um doing something my base is already done my eyes are already primed i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this palette um and whatnot but before we do that, maybe I should swatch some of them for you guys, just so you guys can see, um, you know, what we're working with. This is supposed to be a really nice pigmented palette, like, it's supposed to be real good. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of swatches for you guys. Um, let's swatch this color here, Crown. Ooh, they're, they feel so buttery. That was like one, two swipe. Um... Oh wow, that is beautiful. I hope you guys can see that. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm like looking at my monitor. Oh, I like that color a lot. Then we have Royal Highness. Oh wow, Your Majesty. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Um, let's do this color, Ladyship. Super pretty. I have one more finger left, so let's do Duchess. So out of all of them, I think Duchess was like the crappiest one that I did, like the crappiest um, swatch. But these are swatching really nicely, and they feel really buttery and nice like when you touch them. So I'm so excited to jump right into this and for us to play with it. Um, so yeah, so to get started on today's look, I'm going to go ahead and put some translucent powder underneath my eyes since I already did my base just in case there's any fallout so that it doesn't really ruin my, um, concealer underneath my eyes. Um, so, oh my god, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to avoid colors that I normally go for. To begin with, I'm going to use this shade here called Princess as our transition shade it kind of looks like a pinky color so let's see um not that much kickback so here we go shade here called princess blended out really nicely didn't have any issues with it 
Also, there is like literally barely any kickback on my palette, so that's always really, really nice. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and take that shade um, Duchess from earlier to deepen our crease a little bit more. I'm going for a halo eye. I just made my mind up on that. Again, still not that much kickback. Like, there's kickback, but it's not like eh, all over the place, you know? dip into that shade Ladyship in here to um, deepen the crease some more and go more like towards the center. shade called noble woman here um, and then I think I might mix I might put on top of that your majesty but I'm not sure yet um, I just want to see how this color lays out first pigmented shimmer shade there's no fix plus no mixing medium this looks bomb yes colored rain I'm just gonna put a little bit of your majesty in the center I'm gonna go ahead, do my other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, finish up my look, and come back to give you guys my final opinions on the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. Be right back. So this is the final look that I ended up creating. I really, really like it because it's like super dark, but like super glam. Um, I am wearing Kylie Cosmetics um, 20 on my lips for reference thought it went really perfect with this look and then for my inner corners I added that shade crown just to give them a little bit of a pop and I like how it's like kind of like a pinky iridescent kind of color I don't know I'm really into it I hope you guys really like this look this is really cute I mean it's extra but it's really cute so final breakdown and thoughts on this palette I personally really really enjoyed it it's a big thumbs up for me. I thought that it was a really, really, really great palette. I am mainly impressed with the shimmers. They are so smooth and pigmented and buttery. It's unreal. I will say that that color Ladyship, the one non-vegan color in here, it is a little bit dry, I feel. Like the formula is a little bit drier than all the others. Um, but that's just like, I don't know, that might just be like a thing that I'm noticing. I don't know. It doesn't make the shade bad. It's just like, a, it's a little bit dry. So for me, I felt like I had to add on a little bit more um, 
shadow to get the pigment that I wanted but you know whatever at the end of the day I think that I was able to create a really really nice look with this and I think that this palette could be used for like daytime to nighttime type of situation like you know you can use these shades here this one this orangey one for like your daytime deepen your crease with the lady ship add more of a pop and shimmer because any of these are super super gorgeous and you would have a complete look and the mirror in here is really really great i absolutely love this palette i think it's amazing i love the formula the one complaint i do have is dear god fifty dollars um whew, that's a bit steep however i understand that it does um, take a lot of money to create really good shadows and these are really really good shadows so I mean honestly like I pay 54 for Urban Decay I'll be fine with paying 50 for this I'm just being cheap um, and on top of that Colored Rain is a black owned business holla so um, you guys should definitely check them out they do have a lot of other products they have individual shadows as well as um, highlighters and liquid lips I have yet to try any of their liquid lips or highlighters, but now that I had a good try with this, it's the first product I ever got from them, I will be making future purchases. And guys, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have this palette or you have any of the other things or whatever else you want to say, any videos that you want to see from me. And don't forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram all of that is underscore it's Jilly with two Y's and I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching